Letter 42 of Letters from England, 1846 to 1849, by Elizabeth Davis Bancroft. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. Letter to IPD, London, June 8, 1849. I thank you, my dear uncle, for your pleasant letter, which contained, as usual, much that was interesting to me. And so Mr. and Mrs. Lawrence are to be our successors. Happy as we have been here, I have a great satisfaction that we are setting, rather than rising, that we have done our work, instead of having it to do. Like all our pleasures, those here are earned by fatigue and effort, and I would not willingly live the last three years over again, or three years like them, though they have contained high and lasting gratifications. We have constantly the strongest expressions of regret at our approaching departure, and in many cases it is, I know, most genuine. My relations have been most agreeable, and particularly in that intellectual circle whose high character and culture have made their regard most precious to me. The manifestations of this kindness increase as the time approaches for our going, and we are inundated with invitations of all kinds. Young Prescott is here. I wish Prescott could have seen his reception at Lady Lovelace's the other evening, when there happened to be a collection of genius and literature. What a blessing it is sometimes, to a son, to have a father. Tomorrow we dine with Lord John Russell down at Pembroke Lodge in Richmond Park. On Monday we breakfast with Macaulay. We met him at dinner this week at Lady Waldgrave's, and he said, Would you be willing to breakfast with me some morning if I asked one or two other ladies? Willing, I said, I should be delighted beyond measure. So he sent us a note for Monday next. I depend upon seeing his bachelor establishment, his library, and mode of life. On Wednesday we go to a ball at the palace. But it is useless to go on, for every day is filled in this way, and gives you an idea of London in the season. End of letter 42. Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.